Why You Lack Motivation and Willpower There are countless books written about motivation and willpower. Some of these are fantastic at building your drive and commitment. Others aren't so useful. But really, the question we should be asking is why these are needed in the first place. Why do so many of us struggle with poor motivation to begin with? In this presentation, we're going to break it down and get to the bottom of this problem. Life is too comfortable. The first thing to recognize is that most of us have no real need to change our circumstances. We are sheltered, we are warm, and we are fed. As long as this continues to be the case, our biological drives are going to be happy keeping things just as they are. And they won't want to risk those things, even if they can help make us happier, wealthier, and healthier in the long term. In other words, your emotions are focused on your immediate psychological needs. They are focused on keeping you healthy and comfortable. The Hierarchy of Needs This can be explained by Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. This is a psychological theory that looks at the specific drives that each of us experience. This is often portrayed as a pyramid with the most basic and fundamental requirements, food, water, shelter, at the bottom, and more aspirational and abstract concepts at the top, social acceptance, actualization. The items at the top of this pyramid are the things that bring us true happiness and a sense of a real accomplishment. But the items at the bottom are our evolutionary imperatives. This is what our body is hardwired to seek most of all. Remember, when we were evolving, we did not have the constant access to food and shelter that we have today. Your body is always going to tell you that it needs to be warm and comfortable rather than working hard to get things done. So how do you overcome this juxtaposition between what you need to do and what your body thinks you need to do? The answer is first to train to go against those primitive desires. We can train willpower, just like we can train muscles. Get used to working out when it's cold, being productive when it's late, and taking cold showers. Then you can do anything. The other is to make sure that your basic needs are fundamentally met. If you're overtired, you won't be able to work at your very best.